Friends, power supply which comes to your home, if the voltage of that power supply fluctuates, as you can see, the voltage here is going up and down a lot. The voltage here went up to 199 and then it went down and then the voltage increased here. The voltage here went up to 274 and then the voltage decreased here. In this way, if the voltage of your house is fluctuating, then in this condition, put a relay like this in your house so that if the voltage decreases or increases, then automatically this relay will shut down the power supply. In addition to this, you have to use a RCCB also so that you get protection from electric shock. In addition to this, the electrical fault that occurs in our home is due to overcurrent and short circuit. For its protection, you can use this type of MCB. So how by using all these devices, we do the whole wiring of the distribution board? Let's understand through this video. See, to the MCB here, at output terminal of this MCB, connect a wire. For example, I took a red wire and connecting it to the phase terminal of MCB. Assume that I will connect the phase supply here, so I will get its output power supply here. So from this point, take a wire and connect it to the voltage monitoring relay. You can see here, IN is written. At this side, you can see L is written. At this terminal, you have to connect this wire in this way. Now you have to connect a black wire to the neutral terminal of the MCB. For example, I take this wire and connect it here. Now you have to bring the other end of this wire. And on the voltage monitoring relay here, N is written here. We have to connect this wire to the end terminal on the input side. So I connected it in this way. Now on the output side of this relay, you will get L and N terminals. You will get phase supply from the L terminal. So what you have to do is connect a red wire to the terminal where L is written. We are using the red wire here for phase supply. Now we have to take the power supply from this wire and our RCCB here, the terminal on the upper side of the RCCB, input power supply always has to be given on the upper side of the RCCB. You will see that one is also written here. One means that you have to connect the phase supply here. And where N is written, you have to connect the neutral supply there. So we will connect this wire to the terminal where one is written in this way. Now to the neutral terminal of this relay, I am connecting this wire in this way. And I will take the other end of this wire and the terminal on the upper side of the RCCB where N is written, I will connect it with that terminal in this way. Now the two number terminal of this RCCB here, as you can see, two is written here. So you have to connect a wire to the two number terminal. And the power supply that will go from this wire will go to provide input power supply to our MCB. Means the power supply that will go to our room for that power supply, MCB that we are using, power supply has to be provided from the output terminal of the RCCB. Now the terminal on which we provided power supply, another wire has to be looped with this same terminal. And I take the other end of this wire and I connect it here in this way. Then by looping a wire from this MCB, we will provide phase supply to the other MCB. You can see the connection here. What I have done, the phase supply that we received from the output terminal of the RCCB, I connected it here. Then by looping a wire from here, I provided power supply to it. Means I provided incoming power supply to these three MCB. So the connection of phase supply is completed. Now take neutral supply of our house and we have to connect it with the neutral bus bar. But this distribution board does not have a neutral bus bar. So for this, I use this type of TB. I am placing it here and I connect it here at this point. Now I will take a black wire here. After taking that wire, neutral point of RCCB here, like N is written here. So with this terminal, I will connect this wire in this way. And the neutral supply that will be received from this wire, take it and the TB that I have connected here, I will connect it with this in this way. If you have a neutral strip here, then connect it with that. Now suppose this lamp here, that is to the first room of our home, we have to provide power supply. So to provide power supply to this room, what we will do through MCB, we will provide phase supply. For this, take phase supply wire of this lamp and connect this with MCB in this way. And to this lamp, that is to our home neutral supply which goes Bring that and with the TB or neutral bus bar, we will connect this, like I connected this here. So from here, neutral supply will go and from here, phase supply will go. Now suppose through these two wires, incoming power supply will come. So we have to bring this power supply to distribution board and after this, to first terminal, we have to connect phase supply. I connected this here. 
if we connect the phase supply here and the neutral supply will be connected to the neutral point. So I connect it here like this. Now if I start this MCB after completing the connection, you will see that the voltage is shown in this relay. You can see the voltage here. How much voltage is there at the moment? 64 volts. I am increasing the voltage little bit. You can see that the voltage is increasing here, which means whatever voltage comes in your house, this relay will show that voltage. Now to program this relay, you have to use the set button here. You have to set it here by using these two buttons. So how to do setting? You can easily set it by reading its manual. You can see the incoming voltage like 118 volts is coming at the moment. Now if I start the RCCB here, then if I start this MCB here, then you will see that the lamp is not glowing. Why is it not glowing? Because this relay has turned off the power supply at the moment. Now as I increase the voltage, you can see right now the voltage here is 143 volts. I am increasing this. How much is it? 192. I am increasing this to 200 plus. Here the voltage is 229. As soon as the voltage increases, the light has started. Which means that if the voltage is proper, then only power supply will flow from here. Otherwise, it will not happen. Like I reduced the voltage at the moment, here I have set the voltage to 153. The light will dim here. If the light is dim, then your device may get damaged in this condition. The relay here waited for some time for the voltage to get back to normal. If this did not happen, then the relay has turned off the power supply in this condition. Because of which the power supply is not going ahead. Now if the power supply comes again, then the relay here will turn on the light again. Now through this RCCB, you will get the protection of earth fault. As soon as there is an earth fault, it trips immediately. By tripping, the power supply is turned off. In addition to this, this MCB provides us protection from overcurrent and short circuit. Whenever you do house wiring of your house, always use these three devices so that you get protection from all the electrical problems that come to your house. I hope you liked today's video. If you like this video, do like, share and comment on this video. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.